Hey friends, it's Miss Halton. Today I am going to read to you one of my favorite books to read in the fall time. Here's the front cover on our book today. What animal do you see on our book? Owls. This book is called Owl Babies. On the front cover, do you think that this picture, this illustration is during the daytime or the night time? I think it's nighttime because the background is black like the night sky. Why do you think that the owls are awake at nighttime? Owls are nocturnal animals. Nocturnal means they are awake at night and they sleep during the day, the opposite of what we do. Owl Babies is a story about three baby owls who wake up at night and can't find their mom. So let's read the book to see what happens in our story. Owl Babies, written by Martin Waddell and illustrated by Patrick Benson. Here's our title page, Owl Babies. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah, Percy, and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night, they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat in the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. It was dark in the woods. They had to be brave for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. They all sat and they thought, owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah, or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their mother owl would come home. Can you close your eyes like our owl friends are doing? What do you think is going to happen in the rest of the story? Will the owl mother come home? Let's keep reading to find out. And here she came. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah Percy 
and Bill. Mommy! They cried and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. Oh, they must be feeling very happy to see their mommy. What's all the fuss? Their mother owl asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy, said Bill. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book Owl Babies as much as I did. My favorite character is little Bill. He's so cute and he just keeps saying, I miss my mommy or I want my mommy. I could use your help with something. I'm trying to remember what really happened in the book. What happened in the beginning of the book, in the middle and at the end of the book. That's called sequencing. When we put the book in order of how it happened. So I like to look back at the pictures in the book when I'm trying to remember what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last. This is the first thing I remember from the book. I remember that at the beginning, there were three owl babies and an owl mom and everyone was happy in the tree. Next, I remember the owl babies woke up and they were scared because they couldn't find their mom. Next, they were waiting and waiting for their mom and they were worried and I remember they were sitting on the branches waiting. And then last, the mom came home and she said, what's all the fuss? That's what happened at the end of the book. The mom came home and everything was okay. So on our seesaw activity, we are going to sequence or put our book in order. Let me show you what it will look like. Here is our seesaw activity. The instructions say, use the hand tool to sequence the pictures. So I need to find the picture that reminds me of the first thing that happened in the book, then the second thing, next, the third thing, and fourth, what happened in the very end, the last thing that happened in the book. So I remember the first thing that happened in the book was a picture of the three owl babies and the mom and they were in their tree and they were all happy. Then they woke up in the tree and their mom was gone. What picture do you think comes next? I remember this picture from the book. They woke up in the tree and they said, where is our mother? Next, I remember they were sitting in the branches waiting, waiting for their mom. And last, the mom came home and everything was okay. I would like you to use the microphone to retell me the story in your own words. So it might sound like this, you'll click the microphone and you'll wait for the countdown. And in your own words, you'll tell me what happened. First, there were three owl babies and a mom. Then they woke up and the mom was gone. Next, they waited on the branches for their mom. And last, she finally came home and everything was okay. I'm done recording and I have my pictures in order. So I'm ready to click the green check. All right, my friends, have fun with your seesaw activity today. I can't wait to hear you retell me the story. Bye.